Huge news for the Cybertruck. Check out Tesla's Cybertruck Giga Press, it's a mammoth 8,000 tons. Idra has built the world's first 8,000 ton die casting machine, and it seems to be the Giga Press for the upcoming Cybertruck. Remember when we shared with you Tesla's colossal Giga Press die casting machine? It's the size of a small house, and can help Tesla build cars more quickly and efficiently. The gem comes from Idra Group, and it's actually not the largest unit the company makes. In fact, Idra General Manager Ricardo Ferrario says it has built a world's first, and an order has already been placed. It's the company's 8,000-ton Giga Press for the Tesla Cybertruck. Tesla CEO Elon Musk revealed during the Q4 2020 earnings call that the automaker would need an even bigger Giga Press machine for the upcoming all-electric pickup truck. Idra Group just released the video above talking about the topic, the order, and the machine itself. Ferrario shared. Once again, Idra makes a world's first for technological innovation, and we are very proud to announce that today, on the 16th of March 2021, we've been able to secure the first order for an 8,000-ton die casting machine. This order is being placed by a leading global manufacturer for new energy vehicles. If you aren't already aware, Tesla is working to make cars much like matchbox cars, with single large castings and fewer parts. It has already used similar machines for the Model Y electric crossover's rear underbody. Some people may point out that Ferrario never actually names Tesla in the video above. However, he names a leading global manufacturer for new energy vehicles. While this may be enough to convince most people he's talking about Tesla, he also goes on to share details that coincide precisely with Musk's discussion during the previous call. Moreover, as Idra has made these announcements in the past related to the smaller, but still Goliath at 6,000 tons, die-casting machines, it has continued to be in reference to Tesla and its orders and implementation. Ferrario continued via Teslarati. This giant machine will be used for the production of chassis components of larger vehicles such as pickup trucks, full electric lightweight goods vehicles, and SUVs. It is a maestro, and not only shows the capabilities of Idra's technical superiority, but also validates the many, many years of hard work that have gone into realizing this project. Tesla is rumored to get Cybertruck steel from new $1.7 billion factory in Texas. Tesla is rumored to have a deal with Steel Dynamics to supply the steel for the Cybertruck electric pickup truck from a new $1.7 billion factory in Texas, not too far from Tesla's own Texas factory. When Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck last year, one of the most interesting features was the fact the vehicle isn't going to be built using a traditional automotive body system but with an exoskeleton. The automaker wrote about the exoskeleton. Cybertruck is built with an exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection. Starting with a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton, every component is designed for superior strength and endurance, from ultra-hard 30x cold-rolled stainless steel structural skin to Tesla armor glass. Tesla said that they were using the best steel they could make. If there was something better, we'd use it. Help eliminate dents, damage and long-term corrosion with a smooth monochrome exoskeleton that puts the shell on the outside of the car and provides you and your passengers maximum protection. At the launch, CEO Elon Musk said that it is using the same alloy as SpaceX's next interplanetary spaceship. We're going to be using the same alloy in the Starship rocket. Now we've learned that Tesla could be getting the steel from Steel Dynamics, which is building a giant new factory in Texas. San Patricio County Judge David Krebs, who is involved in the approval of the $1.7 billion project, told local media 3 News. The $1.7 billion steel dynamics plant under construction in Sinton is supposed to be up and running by the fall of 2021. Not only is it going to provide hundreds of good-paying jobs but it's also going to supply the steel used in making Tesla's Cybertruck. Of course, Tesla is currently building its own factory in Austin, Texas, just a few hours away from the new steel plant. However, neither Tesla nor Steel Dynamics have confirmed a supply agreement for the Cybertruck. Tesla plans on bringing the electric pickup truck to production in late 2021 and it has over 650,000 reservations for the electric vehicle, according to the latest tally. Recently, 
Tesla CEO Elon Musk warned that there will be challenges to bring the Cybertruck to production on time since it requires new manufacturing methods to make that steel exoskeleton. Tesla Semi-Truck is on track, physically at least the Tesla Semi was first shown in November 2017, which is almost three and a half years ago now. We are inching closer to a production version, as Tesla seems to be focused on getting both it and the Cybertruck out the door this year. Still, the Semi prototype is on track. Well, a physical track at least. We've seen the Tesla Semi, or a Tesla Semi prototype, plenty of times, though I'm not sure we've ever seen it on a track. Tesla getting its Texas plant up and running to build the Cybertruck is good news for those waiting on the Tesla Semi as well, since that is where the Semi will be built, too. And while electric semis for long-haul trucking still seem pretty unrealistic, I expect that Tesla will argue that Tesla semis make a lot more sense for shorter routes, and that the fuel savings will add up over time, since conventional diesel trucks get single-digit MPG. Anyway, possibly the same Tesla semi was spotted last week, and Electric says that that is the first time we have seen this new prototype running under its own power. Which is progress, Though I assume Tesla is still sprinting a bit to get some semis out this year, as Tesla CEO Elon Musk promised in January. And for many, the Tesla Semi is the most exciting new Tesla product, period, given its potential to replace a lot of trucks in the current fleet, trucks that spew pollution. I get that dot beyond that, though, it seems like this year is going to be a bit of a snoozer in terms of Tesla if all it has coming is the Semi and the Cybertruck. It will be fun, at least, to watch it scramble to make both. Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla Cybertruck owners will be able to power a camper with their electric pickup trucks. When unveiling the Cybertruck, Tesla announced some impressive specs, including a range of up to 500 miles and a towing capacity of up to 14,000 pounds. With the ability to pull near-infinite mass and a towing capability of over 14,000 pounds, Cybertruck can perform in almost any extreme situation with ease. That kind of capacity will enable the Tesla Cybertruck to tow a variety of different trailers and campers with zero emissions at the tailpipe. It got a lot of people excited about the prospect of traveling with a Cybertruck and a camper using the electric pickup truck's large battery pack to both move and live. It would mean that Cybertruck could have some bidirectional charging capacity on top of the power outlets in the back. Those power outlets were already seen as useful for a camping situation and Tesla already unveiled a camper configuration for the Cybertruck, but you would need more power for a bigger situation like a full-size camper. Combined with a deployable solar system on the camper, someone could have a setup that enables them to go off-grid camping with Cybertruck. Musk said that Tesla is planning a sick attachment for the Cybertruck, and the automaker released this render of the electric pickup truck with its own trailer but it didn't look like a camper. Whether or not Tesla comes out with its own camper for the Cybertruck, the electric pickup is likely going to be used by some owners with third-party campers. Model 3 has already spurred several aftermarket companies focusing on the vehicle, and Cybertruck has the potential to do the same. We previously reported on someone already working on a custom fifth-wheel camper trailer for the Tesla Cybertruck. The Tesla Cybertruck is currently set to go into production in late 2021, though the automaker has indicated that delays into 2022 wouldn't be too surprising. Are you going to order a Cybertruck? Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to help the channel and like the video if you enjoyed. Tesla Cybertruck to have a redesign according to Elon Musk? Will the truck become smaller? How much will it cost? Who will the truck rival? Welcome to the channel. Before we start I will give you 5 seconds to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Elon Musk is teasing Tesla unveiling an updated version of the Cybertruck next quarter as the automaker is focusing on bringing the electric pickup truck into production. Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck back in November 2019, but the vehicle isn't expected to enter production until late 2021. According to Musk, Tesla is doing several but important minor changes to the Cybertruck. This comes after the CEO called off a major redesign of the truck to make it more accessible by shrinking its size. Speaking at Tesla's Battery Day event Musk said we are designing the Cybertruck to meet the American spec cause if you tried to design a car to meet the superset of global requirements, basically you can't make the Cybertruck. 
After backing off the redesign Elon Musk said the production Cybertuck will be true to the unveiled Alpha prototype. As a result, the size will remain the same with a 6 feet full-sized bed and will be able to sit 6 people. As per Musk, this will be mainly for the US market. However, Tesla has been taking reservations for the truck in other counties and recently opened reservations in China. For the rest of the world, Musk said we will probably make an international version of the Cybertruck that will be kind of smaller, kind of like a tight Wolverine package. It will still be cooler but it will be smaller cause you just can't make a giant truck like that for most markets. The international version of the truck even though smaller in size will still keep the stainless steel exoskeleton. Other than in size, Elon Musk hasn't said much about how the US version of the Cybertruck will differ from the international version. However, one thing we know is the smaller version of the truck will be produced at a later, yet undetermined date, after the US version comes into production. If you are enjoying so far, drop a like, below. As for the changes coming to the US version of the Cybertruck, Elon has said Tesla has improved the visibility of the truck, lowered the window sill, lowered the center line and Musk says overall a lot of minor improvements will come to the truck. After saying future Cybertruck owners to get different colors they will need to wrap the truck, Elon Musk has opened the possibility of the truck coming in different colors. The Cybertruck being stainless steel can't be painted like other vehicles but two possibilities Musk has said are, a white oxide color which is a kind of rusting, and also heat treatment to change the color of the stainless steel. Musk says his favorite is blue steel the iconic Zoolander look. Other things Musk has announced are better air suspension to kick ass in Baja, which is a Mexican off-road motorsport race held each year on the Baja California Peninsula. The Baja 1000 Rally is one of the most prestigious off-road races in the world covering up to 900 miles and attracts competitors from all parts of the globe. When discussing the changes to the stainless steel on the Starship, Elon Musk's other venture SpaceX's upcoming rocket, Musk said the changes to the alloy will also come to the Cybertruck. Other changes coming to the Cybertruck will be the addition of some small missing features in the prototype like side view mirrors, windshield wipers also the Cybertruck had a pretty radical rectangular steering wheel which might or might not make it to the production version. One thing that is not a change but wasn't shown off on the unveiled prototype of the Cybertruck is solar panels. Musk says the truck will have an option to add 15 miles per day with solar panels fitted to the tonneau cover of the truck bed. However, Musk also says there is a possibility to add a fold-out solar panel which can add 30 to 40 miles a day essentially making the vehicle self-powered. Speaking at Tesla's Q3 earnings call Musk has said Tesla plans to deliver a small number of Cybertrucks by end of 2021 with the bulk of the deliveries coming in 2022. Since Cybertruck has several new technologies and manufacturing techniques the CEO has also warned there is a risk of delays. Currently, Tesla is building the factory for the Cybertruck at its Austin, Texas site. This is by far Tesla's biggest area for a factory with over 2,400 acres of land. In comparison, Giga Shanghai is only 200 acres with less than one-tenth the size. Tesla plans to manufacture around 250,000 Cybertrucks and there are already over 500,000 reservation holders. According to Musk this is the biggest reservation number for Tesla to date even surpassing Model 3's over 400,000 number. However, one difference between the two reservations is for the Model 3 Tesla was asking for a $1,000 deposit but for the Cybertruck customers only need a refundable $100 deposit. When it comes to market the Cybertruck will be competing against other full-size trucks like the Ford F-150, Ram pickup, and Chevrolet Silverado which smaller version of the Cybertruck? The Tesla Cybertruck, currently available with three different motor options, weighs anywhere between 5,000 to 6,500 pounds. This puts it within the Ford F-150 territory at least until you consider its gross vehicle weight rating, GVWR, in excess of 8,500 pounds. However, there is the likelihood of an even smaller Tesla Cybertruck at some point in the future. This was revealed by none other than the Tesla CEO himself in August 2020 when he was quizzed about having a smaller sized truck for the European market. Autonomous Driving It is no secret that Tesla vehicles have some form of self-driving capabilities built in. However, Tesla Cybertrucks may be among the first vehicles from the company to come equipped with level 5 autonomous driving. Imagine a car that requires zero human interaction and is completely in control of steering, acceleration, and braking, while actively monitoring all road conditions without driver input. 
Various technological advancements have encouraged Elon Musk to declare that Level 5 autonomy will be achieved in 2021. This will be an incredible accomplishment if they are able to negotiate the intense regulatory scrutiny that's bound to follow, that is. It will still be very quick. The final production version will understandably sport some differences from the prototype but don't expect this to hamper the insane performance of the Cybertruck. After all, this is one of the unique selling points touted by Tesla. For now, the most powerful variant is the Trimotor Cybertruck. It has a combined power output of about 800 horsepower, enough to rocket the pickup to 60 miles per hour in less than 2.9 seconds. An estimated range of up to 500 miles should also be pretty impressive if Tesla is able to convert the claim figure to reality on the public roads. Towing capacity is a big deal for the Cybertruck. Apart from the acceleration and electric vehicle range stats, the towing capacity was another area that received significant attention during the Cybertruck reveal. Depending on the version you opt for, the Cybertruck will be able to tow up to 14,000 pounds. Now, with Tesla's first electric pickup set to begin deliveries in 2021, it is becoming clearer that the Cybertruck will have a clear advantage in this area. The Bollinger B2's towing capacity is a little more than half the Cybertruck's while the Rivian R1T has a capacity of about 11,000 pounds. So far, it looks like the Cybertruck's only close rival is the Ford F-150 electric vehicle in that regard. We really hope you enjoyed the video, why not drop a like and to support the channel please subscribe. Other than the petrol offerings the Cybertruck will also go against other electric truck offerings from the likes of the Rivian R1T, Workhorse, Hummer electric vehicle, electric F150. So what do you think? Are you excited about the changes to come to the Cybertruck? What are other ways you think Tesla should update the truck? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. We really hope you enjoyed the video. Why not drop a like and to support the channel please subscribe.